All right, let's see how this works here. After 10 years of faithful service, my good old pine mulch here It hasn't quite expired, and I could probably make it go for another year, but since my soil very healthy, little earthworms there, uh, has started to get a little hard, a little compacted, I've decided to go ahead and till this in, and we'll top dress with a nice fresh coat of pine mulch. Here's a little bit that I've already dug, and you can see what that has really done. Look at how nice, loose, well broken that stuff is. Mmm. Talk about Roger Swain's victory garden soil where he just dips his arm in up to his elbow. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. Okay, well, let's fire up the tiller and get back to work. Okay, now that we've got our bed all nice and tilled up, the next step will be a little bit of raking to smooth out the surface. Tom's Dicks and Herbs. Oh, that's Tom's Dicks and Harry's. Yeah. Does Harry have herbs? I have no idea. I guess it depends if he planted them or not. Now, after a trip to our friendly family garden dealer for a load of pine bark mini nuggets, we're ready to mulch the garden. Make sure that you lay it on good and thick. And don't be afraid to lay it on good and thick. About four good solid inches is what you want because that way when you get a 20 minute gully washer in a dead heat of July or August, you're watered for minimum two to three weeks in an eastern exposure bed like this. And just smooth it out to that nice thickness. See, four inches. Four fingers, four inches. No diseases, no weeds. Drains away all the spring swamp season. Keeps the roots nice and cool and moist during the heat and drought of summer. And I'll tell you what, you just can't beat pine mulch. Okay, now for the fun part. We're going to add some plants from, of course, my favorite garden store, Funky's Greenhouses in Cincinnati, Ohio. Put these tomatoes in the back of the Fall down in contact with that beautiful soil we just tilled up. Put the mulch back around it. 
and repeat the process. And Lemon Boy and Smoky Mountain Red, so I'll have a nice selection of colors for tomatoes for the summer salsa and pasta tossing. And last year's and the year before and the year before that and the year before that, the tomato cages I've had for God knows however long. I just leave them in the garden. That way they're always right where I can find them. Now, just a few short minutes later, we've got eggplants, lots and lots of peppers, plenty of room over here for the yet to be planted basil, and that's about as easy as it gets with the ambient moisture that was in all of that soil. I don't even have to water this bed in. And all I need, one 20 minute downpour every two to three weeks, and I'm watered. So, uh, at any rate, thanks for checking it out. See you next time.